What's up, pups? Welcome to day 12 of 31 days of Halloween. Today's video is all about jack-o'-lanterns, a history. So we all know that a jack-o'-lantern is typically a carved pumpkin. The top of the pumpkin is cut off, the insides are scooped out, and an image of a creepy face or some other type of design is then carved on the body of the pumpkin. A candle is inserted and it's lit and the pumpkin glows and it's creepy and awesome and just a very signature item of Halloween. This actually is not a typical practice outside of North America, but in other countries they do carve Halloween lanterns. So where did the idea of a jack-o'-lantern come from for Halloween? One old Irish folk tale tells of Jack, who is a very lazy farmer who uses a cross to trap the devil. One version of the story says that Jack tricked the devil into climbing up an apple tree and then proceeds to put crosses all around the exterior of the trunk so the devil cannot climb down. Another myth says that Jack put a key in the devil's pocket while he was suspended upside down. And then another version says that Jack was running from some villagers whom he had just stolen from and met the devil who told him it was his time to die. However, the thief stalled his death by tempting the devil to take the churchgoers' lives that were chasing him instead. Jack told the devil to turn into a coin, which he would hand to the villagers to pay for the goods he had stolen. Later, when the coin slash devil disappeared, the villagers would fight over who had stolen it. The devil agreed to this plan, turning himself into a silver coin and jumped inside Jack's wallet. That's when the devil noticed that there was a cross in Jack's wallet that he had taken from the city as well. Jack closed his wallet really tight and the cross next to the devil stripped him of his powers, thus trapping him. In all versions of this myth, Jack only lets the devil go once the devil agrees to not take his soul. But in this last version, once the thief dies, like most living things tend to do, his life had been way too sinful to send him to heaven and the devil had promised not to take his soul. So therefore he was not allowed to enter hell either. Jack therefore had nowhere to go. He asked where he was supposed to go since where he was wandering had no light whatsoever and the devil mockingly threw him an ember from hell. Jack then carved out the inside of a turnip and stuck the ember inside of it since it would never burn out, and therefore created a makeshift lantern in which to walk the earth for looking for a resting place. He then became known as Jack of the Lantern or Jack o' Lantern. There are obviously many variations to this legend. Some versions even include a wise good man or godlike figure that is supposed to help Jack prevail over the devil. There are also many different versions of Jack's bargain with the devil. Some variations say the de some variations say the deal was only temporary, but the devil being embarrassed and vengeful decided to not allow Jack access to hell once he died. And then there's even another version that doesn't even mention the devil whatsoever, but just says that Jack was a greedy man and he is denied entrance to heaven and hell. Despite all of these colorful legends though, the term jack-o'-lantern originally meant a night watchman. He's also been referred to as Will of the Wisp, which is a totally different legend in itself, but I can see how it's relatable. If you're interested in knowing what a Will of the Wisp is, I will leave a link down below. That's a whole nother video. Alright you guys, well I hope you enjoyed this brief history lesson about the jack-o'-lantern. I am officially losing my light, so I must part ways with you. Take a moment to hit that red button and we can be best friends forever. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are all down below. I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Peace out, Trouts.